Hey guys, my name is Subranjan Bhaskar and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to convert your Figma designs into Framer in just a few steps. So I've got this empty frame right here inside in Fig Framer and I've got this little design for Figma that I'm going to convert to Framer designs. As you can see each and every element is independent and it's not enclosed in any groups or any frames. So we're gonna uh, convert this entire design into a Framer website that you can see live. So the idea behind converting Figma designs into Framer is that we are going to reduce the number of layers inside our Figma panel. As you can see, I've got number of layers. Each of uh, them is independent to one another. So what we are going to do is group them together by using Figma's auto layout. So I'm gonna select two layers right here, as you can see, and I'm gonna press Shift A to convert this into an auto layout. As you can see, I've converted both the independent layers into a single layer by using Figma's auto layout. So that's what I'm gonna do for all the layers inside our Figma panel. As you can see, I've converted all these three layers into a single layer. Now I'm gonna select this image right here. And then I'm going to group it together with the first frame right here using Figma's auto layout, like this. Now I have the option to group all the upcoming layers into the single frame again and again so that I am left with a single frame at the end, but I don't like to do that. It is better that you group different sections of your design in a different frame. So I'm gonna select these two text layers right here, press shift A on a keyboard to add auto layout, and then I'm going to add the two layers above the frame that we have just created inside the frame so that we can have a single auto layout for all these three elements right here. So select all these three layers, press shift A on your keyboard and there you go, you have an auto layout again. So by now we have two auto layouts completed. One is the hero section and one is the heading section in the middle of our design. Now what we are going to do is create auto layouts for these cards right here. One way is to group them all together and add an auto layout, but I don't like to do that. The best way to do these conversions is to start from the least possible number of layers. So I'm gonna select these two layers with the image and the title, and then I'm gonna add individual auto layouts to each of the frame right here. So as you can see, I've got these four auto layouts right now. And now you can also group them together again and press Shift on your keyboard to create a single auto layout, but no. I'm going to group only two of these together right here, just so that we can have more liberty while editing these frames inside Framer. Right here. So right now we have reduced the number of layers inside our Figma panel by converting them to auto layout. As you can see, I'm left with four auto layout frames right here, and we are going to convert these frames into a Figma design. And to do that, we are going to need a Figma plugin. So head over to Figma community, go to the search option and type Figma to Framer. And that should leave you to the plugin section right here. And then you need to install the first option, which is Figma to HTML with Framer. You can install this plugin by clicking on the try it out button. Now go back to your design file and what you need have to do is select any auto layout frame, right click, go to plugins, and then select Figma to HTML with Framer. Once you do that, your design is ready to be pasted within a Framer canvas. So go back to Framer, head over to a design file. Make sure that the dimensions of both your Figma and Framer frame are identical. So as you can see, I've got this 1440 pixels right here in Figma. So I'm going to do that to the Framer frame as well, right here. I'm also going to change the background color to black right here, just to match the design in Figma that I've created. Let's increase the height of the frame. And then what you have to do is press Command V on the keyboard to paste the design that we had just copied using the Figma to Framer plugin. As you can see, I've got this whole layout and structure as we had in the Figma file. So you can move these around and you can reposition it as you want. I'm gonna place them right here. That's good. And now in a very similar manner, I'm gonna copy all these sections again with using the Figma to Framer plugin. And I'm gonna paste them inside Framer like this. Now you can see that I've got the final Figma design within my Framer canvas right here. You can edit these individual elements right here as you do in Figma, so that's not an issue. You don't have to go back and forth within your Figma and Framer designs once you paste these designs right here. Once you do that, let's go click on the publish button and let's see the site live. And there it is, we have our design live and published onto the internet within just a few seconds. 
don't worry if your fonts are different than the ones usually used in your Figma designs. You can simply install them onto Framer and then you can publish the website again and then you'll have all these fonts inside your live website. So that was it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Have fun. Bye-bye.